Um, I've never actually had the opportunity to do this before, but it's something that I'm really excited about. To be able to represent my heritage in this unique way is really exciting. My name is Del Tracy, I am 28 years old and I run the 800 and 1500 meters. So I was actually born in the US but I moved to Jamaica um, in those first early years and grew up there. Um, my dad's Jamaican and um, I lived there until I was about seven years old so I um, went to school there and have a lot of fond memories. I would say that my first memories of running um, started in the hills of Manchester in Jamaica where I grew up. I first moved to the UK when I was about seven years old. Um, we have a lot of family in the UK because my mum's British. What I remember most about that move was probably the weather. Um, feeling cold rain for the first time in the UK was a bit of a shock to the system. It was a bit different going to school in the UK, which was slightly more structured and um, being dyslexic, that was really challenging for me. And sort of being at school and not really finding my feet academically, um, I felt a real strong connection to running because it was somewhere where I really found that I, I thrived. Um, being a neurodiverse person, I've always sort of lent into my strengths, um, sort of being more artistic, but also um, being able to run. So kind of um, when I'm not able to work and I am traveling quite a bit, um, I do blog about sort of hair and makeup and products that work well for sport, but also um, I guess that idea of confidence and kind of what makes us feel good is it you know um, styling our hair a certain way or just those little rituals that tie into running as well as um, my work off the track as a makeup artist. So being an ambassador for the British Dyslexic Association is really important to me um, because I'm dyslexic and dyscalculic and the reasons why I run um, are probably um, really built into that as well. I would love for other neurodiverse people to be able to find their strengths and um, really showcase um, their amazing qualities too. So this is the first year that I've actually had that opportunity of being eligible to represent Jamaica. Having lived there, my dad competed for Jamaica as well and I'm just really excited to kind of take on this unique opportunity that's presented itself. It's definitely something that I've always kind of considered, um, knowing the rules that kind of surround um, that allegiance change. Um, I've never actually had the opportunity to do this before, but World Athletics um, stipulate that if you change allegiance, um, you have to um, not compete for your country for three years. And because of COVID, um, not being able to compete that year, that's opened up a whole other year of not actually representing Great Britain. I have turned down opportunities um, to be able to be eligible, knowing that this is something that I've really been kind of thinking about. Competing for Jamaica is really important to me because I'm really proud of my roots and in the endurance sort of world, um, I definitely would say that I don't always see myself reflected um, or represented and I would love for young women and girls in Jamaica to really see um, what can be achieved um, in the middle and long distance running scene. So my goals for this summer would be to represent Jamaica at the World Championships in Eugene and the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham and just decide which ones we focus on. Um, but I'm really excited to kind of explore the two events that um, I've been competing over in the 1500 and the 800 meters. Currently I'm based at St. Mary's in Twickenham um, in the UK. I will be based there, but I will be traveling, sort of moving around um, wherever's 
best for my training, but I will be spending a lot more time in Jamaica and, and making the most of that opportunity as well to see family too. I definitely say there's a lot of athletes that have built an incredible legacy for um, Jamaican athletics team, um, you know, predominantly in the sprints, but it's really amazing to see um, incredible women in the middle distance events like Natoya Gul, um, Aisha Pro really leading the way and I hope to kind of join them in that and, and encourage um, other women to partake in elite endurance running.